Hey up everyone, I'm back again. So uh, I just wanted to do a quick little speed test here between Nexus 6's uh, Android Lollipop 5.1 and the iPhone 6 running its iOS 8.2. So uh, the latest and greatest software from both manufacturers head to head. Uh, and I'm going to keep this video a bit uh, quicker because I did just film this and my camcorder crashed right at the end which is really annoying uh, but uh, we can start off with uh, a boot up now this is an area where the Nexus was uh, historically quite slow so hopefully Google have improved this I still think uh, the iPhone is going to be faster and I wasn't mistaken you can see here the uh, Apple Watch app which you'll use to connect to your 16,000 uh, watch which I'm sure you've pre-ordered which is very nice and uh, we're in on both of them so a bit longer there still I think Google can definitely do better for 5.2 uh, but we can start off just doing a few apps here so that was uh, the iPhone quite clearly Again, the iPhone off to a very strong start here. The iPhone much quicker there, and it even had a whole film to load, which is quite incredible. Oh, Nexus strikes back there very nice again iPhone you know no questions asked there oh Nexus it's back and forth now how about some eBay Nexus again nice performance here certainly coming back that was about the same I think oh very quick there on the iPhone uh, calculator I think the iPhone was a little bit quicker there but you know you'd need superhuman eyesight to really notice it and uh, the clock So uh, I think the iPhone again, just a little bit. What about settings? Again, iPhone, no questions asked there. What about the uh, App Store? And that was literally identical on both of them, which is quite nice. Uh, so uh, YouTube already done that so I, I think it's a bit mixed there if you ask me but then again I do think the iPhone did seem to open up most of them a bit quicker if we're to be honest so I'm going to give that to the iPhone and uh, as you can see I left it on tech radar so we can just quickly click on something for the browsing test that was literally identical which is very nice indeed and uh, GSM Arena iPhone was a bit quicker there to resolve the search 
Wow, that was literally identical. Could have been the Nexus a little bit quicker there, but you know, need to have superhuman eyesight again. Definitely a Nexus there though. Very nice performance here. So uh, try uh, the old favourite. iPhone, I think, but the Nexus wasn't far behind. They kind of loaded the page differently there, if you ask me. And we just click on the LG G Flex review. Again, the iPhone looked like it was going to be slow there, but it's still won, and you can't deny it. Try a, a content heavy website. Again, iPhone. For real. And uh, we can try clicking on a link. Again, iPhone. So I'm going to give it to the iPhone here. Yes, I'm going to be accused of being an Apple fanboy, but you know, you just got to admire this dual core 1 gig RAM versus the quad core 3 gig of RAM. This is the latest and greatest software on both of them, so uh, we can just try a little bit of multitasking and then wrap the video off I think the iPhone went a little bit quicker there to load it back up oh reloading we don't like to see that I thought that the memory leaks had been fixed in uh, Android 5.1 so uh, Groupon about the same quite nice if I do say so myself about tinder and uh, not much difference there to be honest twitch oh that's actually it looks like twitch because it's purple so uh, forget that one Uber so not much difference there in the multitasking but I'm still going to give it to the iPhone because this did reload the YouTube and uh, I'm strict like that now so uh, don't think uh, have I got speed test let's just uh, get speed test on you can see there's a definite performance improvement here like when you're downloading an app because I do remember how laggy it was still going into stuff and I was thinking is this really a 400-500 quid device So let's open these two up and uh, both are connected to my Wi-Fi. Wow, Nexus are doing very good here, killing the iPhone. Double the download speed and uh, good ping as well. Terrible ping on the iPhone. So uh, I think uh, that was a very good result there on the Nexus. Just one more go.
Again, Nexus very good here on the uh, ping, but the iPhone seems to be doing much better here on the download. So uh, on the iPhone we have a slight little less on the upload but a bit more on the download. Final determining one. So again ping goes to the Nexus. Looks like the Nexus is uh, going to take this one. And uh, Nexus seems to really uh, bombed out when it comes to the upload. But uh, nevertheless, I think I'm going to give it to the Nexus for the speed test. A very nice performance there. But uh, other than the speed test, you know, I'm going to have to give it to the iPhone for the still the overall kind of speed and uh, performance of the device. Uh, and, uh, you know, these are the latest and greatest software, so we do like to see which is the fastest. Uh, both are quite expensive, obviously. Uh, and, uh, yeah, you know, probably going to wrap it up about now, but I might do some other comparisons of all the devices so uh, I hope you enjoyed the video uh, and if you did thumbs it up and I'll see you very shortly cheers <laughs>